Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to a brand new video. My name is Prince Mason. They say the eyes are the gateway to the soul, right? Well, today I'm going to be showing you how to make those eyes pop in Photoshop. Now, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure you subscribe and do not forget to turn on notifications so you can receive notifications every time I put up a new video. Also, like, comment, and share this video with your friends, family, and whoever you think is interested in my content that I'm putting into this channel. Now, with that being said, let's get straight into today's video. Now, there are a few steps you know, to make this happen, but they're pretty easy and they're straightforward. So just follow me step by step and you have those eyes looking great in no time. Now, the first thing you do is create a curves adjustment layer right here. So you can do that by clicking your curves adjustment here. Sorry, your adjustment layers down here, or you can come to layers, then new adjustment layer, then curves. So I'm just going to do it this way. I'm going to stretch this out so you guys can see it. Now, once you've done that, come to the middle, create an anchor point here, then drag this up. Now don't worry about your entire image, just look in the eyes right here in the iris. Is that the iris? I guess. <laughs> just look in there. And yeah, once it gets bright enough, try to make sure it's not too bright or you know, but just exposed enough. Once it gets there, come to your curves. Now what you have to do is right next to your curves, you have your mask. So you have to invert your mask. So invert means change the color to either white or black. So now it's white. We're going to invert it to black. So black um, conceals and white reveals. That's all you need to know about your mask. So I'm just going to control I on PC, command I on Mac. And I've inverted that. Now, black conceals, right? And white reveals. So all we have to do is pick a white brush right here. Um, sorry, pick our brush. Make sure that our foreground color is white. Flow is 100%, opacity 100%. Make sure it's a very soft brush. Now we're going to zoom into her eyes and we're just going to paint this in. See that? Now you can see more color. Now make sure you're not painting the black part of her eyes, you know, just like this part down here. And that's good. So we're just going to check out before and after. Looking good. Now the next thing we're going to do is create a new layer, right? Now we're going to pick a brush again, same brush, but we're going to make it smaller this time. Yeah, probably two pixels should be fine. Let me see how that's going to look. Just going to zoom into our eyes. Okay, uh, make that bigger. Three pixels. Now, the brush size is relative to how um, big your subject's <laughs> um, eyeballs are, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, it's just relative. You don't have to use three all the time. If it's a close-up picture, then you probably have to use like a bigger um radius for your brush so now i'm just going to paint this in like this i don't have to be perfect just going to paint this in right then i'll come to filter blow gaussian blow and i'll put a radius of about 1.5 now the radius is also still relative it doesn't have to be perfect um it doesn't have to be 1.5 or 3 it doesn't have to be a perfect 1.5 so it can be 2 for your picture it can be 3 it depends on how big the brush or how big the eyes are so i'm just going to click okay when i keep saying how big the eyes are it just makes me feel like i'm insulting some people that have big eyeballs but yeah i'm not i'm just talking about um the picture how how big and bright it's going to look in photoshop how close up the picture is so yeah with that being said um now you can just come to um your blend modes and change this to soft light once you do that see how it looks so i'm just going to zoom out now and see how that eye looks. So that's a before, that's a after. It doesn't have to be on 100%. Now you can reduce your opacity and see how bright that eye looks right now. You have actually just transformed it. Now I'm just going to do this for the second eye too. Create a new layer, zoom in, pick a brush, same size. And I'm just going to go over this like this. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just drawing weird circles around that. Then filter, blow, Gaussian blow. Same thing, 1.5. I'll click OK. Then I'll change this to soft light. Now, because this is the second eye, right? I don't want it to be in focus as much as the first eye. So the first one, I reduced the opacity to 63. This, I'll just probably pull it down a little bit to like, yeah, let's just see. Oh, geez. <laughs> I'm touching the first one, um, second one. So I'm just going to take it down to 40, yeah, somewhere around that. So let's put all this into a group, name that group 
eyes and let's see the before and after can you guys see that so i'm just going to zoom out this image before and after can you see how it's brought a lot of life into this image i'll zoom in again i'll show you guys before and after now you can further enhance the color right by just creating a hue saturation layer and you can increase the saturation now the thing is like i said this is a hue saturation um layer so what it will do is that it will create the mask with it adjustment layer we create the mask with it so all you have to do is invert your mask and now paint it in so i'm just going to get a bigger brush and i'll just paint paint this in you know and let's zoom out now let's see how that looks before after has a lot more color to it a lot more vibrance and you can also adjust the color of the eyes see right there easy simple way to make the eyes look really really good so you guys can see a few before and afters before after before after now if sorry before and after yeah so yeah so that's how to actually make your eyes pop in photoshop now some people have issues of you know probably their models will probably have um red eyes and all that kind of stuff um, it's easy. It's an easy way to do that. So with you create another hue adjustment, um, hue saturation adjustment layer, get your color picker tool and just click somewhere around here. So whatever colors you pick, normally you'll pick yellows or red. You just, you're just going to reduce saturation, but well, fortunately she has, you know, really bright eyes and I didn't have to do that. Probably make another tutorial on that later, but we'll see. So now this is where we're at. And if you want to sharpen her eyes and, you know, just make, you know, just make, um, yeah, the eyes sharp, sharp or in, you know, yeah, <laughs> to you, I don't even know what I'm saying. All you have to do is um, merge all the layers together, command or control, alternate or option, shift and E. So that'll create a stamp visible layer, come to image, adjustment, brightness and contrast, reduce your contrast to minus 50%, click OK, come to filter, come to other and high pass, then set your radius 1.9. Look at the eyes, good, looking good and sharp. I'll click OK. Then I'll change this to soft light. Nah, I think I'll just do um, linear light. Okay, linear light sharper. Yes, so linear light sharper. And I'm going to just put a mask right next to it and invert it. So now I'm going to pick a brush and just paint over our eyes. Then paint over, you know, right there. Then this, I'll just paint over this a little bit just to bring that in focus a bit too. And yeah, all we have to do now is just reduce this so it doesn't look too bright. So this is the before brightness and this is the after. Can you guys see that? I'm just going to zoom in so you guys can see. Before and after. You can increase the sh um, sharpness. <laughs> or the sharpen layer before and after before and after well this was just a quick tutorial to show you guys how to make eyes pop in photoshop i'll show you guys again and before and after now i feel like i should blur this a little bit so i'm just going to that's the first layer for the eyes so i'm just going to add a little gaussian blur to that again um yes let me see i'm just going to click okay okay so that just makes it smoother anyways this is the tutorial this is what i was just going to show you guys how to make eyes pop in photoshop i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i hope you learned something try this at home look at her eyes they look great they look gorgeous now you know there's a lot more depth to her eyes try this at home and yeah i hope this helps somebody out there if you haven't subscribed to this channel and you're still watching this please subscribe and do not forget to turn on notifications so you can receive notifications every time i put up a new video like comment subscribe share <laughs> get everything and i'll see you guys in another video have a great day peace